Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video for the flight simulators. This video is uh, for the Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane 11 or any other flight simulator for which you are making a flight plan. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to make a flight plan. I assume that you guys know how to uh, use SimBrief because uh, this is uh, the tool that I'm using to make flight plans. Uh, I thought of making this video because uh, in the past few weeks I have been receiving lots of uh, questions regarding the flight plan that how to identify between the airways um, and the waypoints. Because in a flight plan at times uh, the airways are missing and uh, there is a direct waypoint to which uh, the plane is flying. At times uh, DCT direct is written before the waypoint so you know you have to fly direct to the waypoint Otherwise, uh, there is a waypoint mentioned and then there is also a waypoint. Then at times there is a, there's an airway and then a waypoint. So people get confused and they ask me questions. So today I just wanted to do this video. It's for the beginners. And um, if you are at a certain level of experience, obviously this video is not there for you. I assume that you know how to identify the waypoints and uh, the airways in a flight plan. Right now, the flight plan that I've made is uh, from Lahore to Islamabad. And... Uh, um, I'm just ignoring all the um, information over here because as I told you before, I'll be focusing on uh, the flight plan. Now, in the flight plan, uh, there is a beginning and at the ending, uh, there are two points. This is actually um, the SID and this is the STAR. SID is uh, standard instrument departure and STAR is standard terminal arrival. So, and the rest of the points over here is your flight plan or rather comprises of uh, the airways and the waypoints. It's very simple. Um, I'll just tell you a very basic uh, principle how to identify a waypoint and an airway. Anything in alphabetical values, let's say this Amuki, oh, sorry, Amuki, Salna, SLT, Indic. These are all waypoints. And anything coming as um, um, alphanumeric value, let's say, let's say this one, J220, it's an airway. So while making a flight plan, you can ignore um, the airway as well. And you can just simply go from Omuki to Salna to Sialkot and to Indic. It's important to enter the waypoints, but it's not really important to enter uh, the airways. So it's very simple. So if you are also ignoring the airways, it's it's easy. Um, at times, if you enter an airway, uh, the waypoint is also mentioned in front of the airway. It's kind of technical. I'm not going into those details. The videos are there in which I have explained how to enter the flight plans into uh, different planes. Uh, but in this video, I just wanted to focus on uh, on one thing: um, is to identify between an airway and a waypoint. So this is uh, uh, the complete uh, flight plan shown on the map and if you go over here i'll just show you one thing if you click airway you will see the airways coming up so these are all the airways and plus uh, the waypoints are also mentioned you can see so you can see the moment plane is taking off from opla that's uh, lahore airport uh, the plane will use uh, this airway J220. It will first go to Omuki and then to Salna and then to SLT. And as you can see that SLT is a VOR. Uh, so um, it says uh, airway direct. So this is how you can you can read your uh, flight plan. Mostly um, I've seen people skipping it, not going into the de details. But I would suggest that if you're making a flight plan and if you're doing a flight, just spend some time um, on your flight plan and just have a look at it. Uh, what uh, waypoints are there, if there is any uh, VOR, NBDs or anything else uh, during your flight, you can check. Uh, one interesting thing um, about uh, this uh, flight plan is this, that you know, you can see this uh, J220 airway is directly uh, going to Salna and then to Sialkot. I'm not trying it right now, but you can try it at your end. Uh, that if you just simply enter the airway and you can just like uh, ignore Omuki and you can go to Salna or um, you can, uh, yes, exactly. That's that's how you can do it. Or maybe for over here, you can, you can just enter uh, this airway 
and uh, you can ignore pinop and uh, you can directly fly to isdo you can try that and uh, let's see if it, if this works for you or not so this is how you identify uh, the airways and the waypoints so hopefully uh, in the future um, you will have no issues in identifying the airways and the waypoints because i've been um, uh, posting videos for the boeing 737 airbus a320 and uh, plus uh, some other planes and um, in the flight plans uh, once i'm entering uh, the flight plan manually i have to enter the waypoints and plus the airways so if you're doing it manually you can do this it's very easy to identify let's uh, see another example this is another flight which is uh, my favorite flight from heathrow to frankfurt in the beginning days uh, uh, um, i think 4 years back i used to fly a lot between heathrow and frankfurt and you can see that uh, this flight plan consists of your sid the star so beginning is sid the departure and arrival and the rest is your flight plan so the moment plane will fly it will go to det then it will take l6 as i told you before anything in alpha numeric value is an airway and dvr is a waypoint ul9 is again an airway so if i go here and click airways you can see the detail so if you ever get confused you can you can refer to these uh, uh airways and these waypoints as you can see that uh, because of this uh, sid det1j the plane is going through all these points they are not there on the um uh, on the flight plan as you can say as you can see because uh, it's uh, a standard instrument departure and the moment you enter the sid uh, these all waypoints are entered in the uh, plane's uh, fms or flight management system so uh, it, the plane straight away goes to det and then takes uh, the airway l6 as you can see and then ul9 to konan and then ul007 to kok and so and so forth so if uh, look, let's say if uh, this airway ul607 i think if i'm not wrong this is ul607 yes because the line is there i cannot make it out uh, but if you are flying on airway ul607 you can ignore ferdi and you can go to directly to bhopal and uh, maybe to ramba so after entering you will 6 or 7 you can ignore these two waypoints and you can uh, simply go to ramba um i i said ramba i think we just came uh, from ramba anyhow <laughs> this is the waypoint and then uh, i think this is another uh, 6 or 7 spi you can try doing this ignoring all the waypoints and just entering spi in order to save your time uh, but if you want to fly through all the waypoints uh, you can do this and then you can enter the star there is another way of uh, checking your flight plan uh, this is a very nice site i'll just show it to you on the screen right now this is uh, skyvector.com and uh, it's one of the sites that i started using almost 4 or 5 years back it gives a very good uh, view of all the airways and the waypoints as you can see it on your screen uh, so many airways and waypoints and nbds and vors all this information is here and uh, if i go to this option flight plan i can uh, set departure and uh, arrival and i can paste the flight plan and you can see that this flight plan is also drawn over him okay so it's uh, it's easy and you can see that uh, this is actually let's uh, delete the sid and the star okay now you can see that the flight plan is good because um, uh, skyvector.com doesn't take uh, sid and the star as you can see the sid and star was there so that's why there was an error but somehow um if you uh, delete it you will get this flight plan so the plane is directly going to this 
point first which is DET as you can see and then it's uh, taking this L6 then DVR as you can you can keep on clicking them and you can uh, start uh, you can see the airways and the waypoints this is Conan UL607 so it's easy uh, so uh, I hope this video was a help for you now in the future you will be able to identify between an airway and a waypoint just to end this video and as a reminder just remember one thing anything in uh, alphabetical values is your waypoint and anything in alpha numeric is your airway and anything at the start and the beginning of uh, uh, the flight plan is your SID and the star and if you copy paste your flight plan over here in skyvector.com don't forget to remove the star and sit and then from here you can see it you can even amend your flight plan so let's say you want to go from this point to this point and then back to this point you can directly fly, uh, fly towards any waypoint you can select it over here in the flight plan and see if it changes or not you can do different experiments over here you can make your own flight plan and then you can enter it into the FMS of the plane and then you can enjoy your flight. If you've got any further questions regarding the flight planning, you're more than most welcome to ask me. I try to answer all the questions um, as uh, early as possible. But if there is a delay or if I don't answer you, kindly accept my apologies in advance. And if you've got any feedback, you're more than most welcome to post your feedback in the comment section. I hope this video helped you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hope to see you soon.